hey, happy Thursday, happy Thursday. One more day, one more day. So I got in some, um, I made a lot of purchases last week and I started getting in some of them. The rest will be here by Saturday, but one I bought, I've never tried before is K-Bosh. You know, I'm trying to find pizza crust, bread. So I'm always trying something new. They shipped really fast. Never tried them before, but I got Italian spinach keto crust. Two of them. It's two in a pack. And then I got the cauliflower keto crust. And moringa powder is leaking all over the place. Anyway, these are the, um, it says one third of the crust. Who eats one third? This thing ain't that big. But it's 40 calories, three grams of fat. One carb, no sugars, protein. The um, ingredients are pretty clean. Spinach, mozzarella cheese, egg, almond flour, coconut flour, flaxseed, basil, garlic, cream of tartar, bacon soda, milk, eggs, almond. So as you can see, it's pretty clean. Here's the nutrition facts for the um, cauliflower crust. The last one that I tried that I bought at Whole Foods, that thing broke apart. It was good, but it just broke apart. So hopefully these are good. They sent them in a box and they um, say freeze on arrival. So I did throw them in the freezer. I'm gonna put them back in there. Um, I got my coffee. I was running low. I got decaf this time because I wanna be able to drink it also any time of day. So I'm gonna try it out just to see if it had me running. I know I already can't shut my mind off as it is. So um, normally I only do the coffees on uh, Saturdays and Sundays, um, uh, early afternoon, early or uh, late afternoon, just because I don't want my mind to be racing all night. But mold free, I do have a. Um, video on this so just going to my intermittent fasting and that's what all of my stuff is but this is a very good clean coffee whole mold free i didn't know coffee could get molded but um this is 18 dollars a bag um and it lasts for a long time unless you're a coffee drinker every day you can also do um their membership where you get five percent off or something like that but you know go read about Purity Coffee, very good, very good quality coffee. And then next is Papa Rosier. Y'all know I bought their castor oil and moringa oils for my face and my scalp. I do like them, black owned. Um, they're, they have a farm in Haiti and their store is in Brooklyn. So they ship their beans, their moringa beans, their castor oil beans, and all of that from their farm in Haiti. And they um, press the beans in their store in Brooklyn. They ship really fast. I do like their products. I wanted to try their Haitian honey as well. Um, with this moringa powder and with their moringa oil, you can use it on your salads and stuff too. Um, so yeah, the Moringa oil, I've seen them where they have, uh, what do you call it? Like um, they show like recipes and stuff that they're cooking um, out of their store and they have sprinkled some Moringa oil like on their salads and foods and stuff. So this is, that is like a one stop shop. You can use it for just about anything. Their Moringa oil and I like it. So the Moringa powder does all of this three times by vitamin E of almonds, normalizes blood sugar, four times the amount of vitamin A and carrots, liver protection, energy boost, put three times potassium of bananas, improves digestion, nine essential amino acids, antioxidants, three, seven times vitamin C of oranges is a superfood rich in vitamin K, protein, and calcium for healthy bones, improve, improves mental clarity, three times the amount of iron of spinach. They do um, also have a school in Haiti. And this is their school. So when you buy from them, 
Um, not only are you supporting a small black owned business, but they also have a school back in Haiti that, you know, their proceeds, let me try to get this, could I get this, that their proceeds take care of as well and food that they grow on their farm to feed the little kitties um, at their schools. So, you know, go try um, Papa Rosier. Again, they, if you live in New York, they are in Brooklyn. You can go into their store or order through mail. They sell all types of stuff, oils, lotion bars, um, Haitian castor oil, like all of that stuff is fresh. And then back to the K-Bosh. I just wanted to show y'all this. Uh, right here, crust travel safely, ambient, but we do suggest freezing to extend shelf life to 12 months. You can use your crust straight from the freezer. Just use a flat edge such as a spatula to separate. Be sure and remove the oxygen packet before preparing your crust. So this is all a little information. Again, they ship very fast. Um, I just ordered this stuff over the weekend, I think Friday, Saturday. Um, this is what you can use their um, their uh, what you call these things their crust for. They even have dessert crust as well that you would use for desserts and stuff. But I wanted to try these first before I went and ordered more. So K Bosch again ships very fast. So let's see how these hold up. So I'll see y'all at dinner. Peace. I wanted to come back and show you this moringa powder. I'm making a smoothie and I just want to try it in my fruit smoothie. It smells earthy. And I all, it says one tablespoon per serving. And uh, these are 100% pure moringa leaf powder. Organic, no chemicals, pesticides, or herbicides. So again, they have moringa oils and beans. And they press the leaves. They crush the leaves or grind them up at their um, shop in Brooklyn. And it's not, you know, all of that stuff is naturally grown on their farm. So I just wanted to come show y'all the color. Hello, hello, hello people. Happy uh, Wednesday night, happy hump day. Hope everybody had a good day. Just wanna come in right quick to show y'all my dinner. So I have um, a chicken salad here, the same as I had yesterday with butternut squash, bacon, um, some guacamole I made. Uh, some cut up chicken thighs, um, a butter lettuce mix with onion, tomatoes, cucumber, um, what else is in here? And I think that's it. I decided at the last minute to do a pizza. Um, so I bought these K-Bosh crusts. This is my first time trying it. So I put it on in a um, non-stick pan and crisp it on both sides for a couple of minutes. And then I put it on a, a pizza pan and I just put the Rails, Rails tomato sauce, um, mozzarella cheese, and some of this Italian seasoning. And this is how it looks. Mm, it looks good. I hope it, let me see if it tastes good. Mm, it tastes good. Nice and cheesy. The crust is nice. And these are little pizza pans I ordered years ago. I think for my son's fifth birthday party, we gave him a pizza party. So I got a ton of these little pizza uh, trays. But um, you keep the, uh, uh, the pizza crust frozen and they do put these papers in between so you they peel apart really easily and without breaking up so i do like this pizza crust um better than the one i bought in the store the other one was just uh it was a soggy mess and it broke apart so this is dinner had a good day today my son had a football game today his first one as a freshman I had to go for my workout early. I did back and buys and Mrs. Muscles 30 day challenge. I did um, a super set of um, bicep curls with um, 
and superseted it with um, uh, lat pull downs. Um, I did five sets of 10, so that was 50 each. And then I walked two laps around the track. It was 104. It was in the middle of the day, it was really hot. And that's all I was able to take um, today. So we pushing on to tomorrow, trying to get stronger and better. So y'all have a good night and um, be safe out there. Peace.